Welcome to today's video, which is going to be a sort of like getting back on track inspired video. I love watching these and I watch them all the time, but this one's a little bit different because instead of watching someone else get back on track, it's me getting back on track. But I thought that I would do one of these videos so that I could share with you guys sort of what I do when I'm in a bit of a rut or I'm coming out of a bit of a slump and I'm trying to get back on to normal routines. So before we start this video, I thought I would sit down and just have a really chilled out, honest chat with you guys. It's not often that I sit down and actually tell you what's going on if that makes sense like you see me doing stuff in vlogs but it's not the same as like sitting down I guess anyway today is Thursday the 21st of February and today is the day that I am putting all of my laziness my slump like behaviors everything to rest and we're getting back on track and getting into the groove of things back to becoming my best self I also have a coffee that I just made so I'm going to be drinking that while we chat. Sorry, I've literally just been sitting here for the past five minutes drinking this. Like milk. Like, <laughs> I need to slow down. It's the problem with, like, iced coffees, I feel. You just drink them so fast that they're, like, they're all gone. So, I wanted to let you guys know, even though I vlog most days, I... I'm in a position now where I'm sick of being in a slump. I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm so sick of feeling sorry for myself. And I'm so sick of not feeling great um, because I obviously know how good it is when I do feel great. And I want that back. So I am making the first step today, hence why I'm starting this video now. Basically, today is Thursday and next week uni starts back. And when uni starts back... I'm the type of person I need a routine I need to know what I'm doing every day I plan my week I plan my days so thoroughly so I'm not wasting my time and I'm getting a lot of things done you guys know I'm a very productive person and that's just how I work best I like being in a routine so I need to get myself back to a position where I am in that constant routine and I'm feeling great again so that I can perform academically, I guess. Uh, because if I'm feeling like this, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to be doing my best work. And yeah, I'm just not going to be making the most out of uni. And I need to, you guys know in my degree, I need to do well. So we need to sort my life out before we add on the whole uni thing, which is ridiculous because I've had three and a half months off uni. You'd think I'd have my shiz together, but I don't know. I don't. So this is a bit hard for me, even though I have been making YouTube videos for years, putting stuff so personal about me on the internet is very, very hard. Um, but you guys are like my friends, you're like family. And I honestly just, think of you guys so highly that you know I can tell you anything but it just takes a bit more courage from my side to actually like say it if that makes sense but anyway lately I haven't been mentally my best self or physically I have definitely noticed a lot of changes in me I'm still like obviously like my personality is still the same but mentally I haven't been as like strong and like you know yeah as I normally am um, and it I think it shows to be honest I've had like a few people pick up on it on my tumblr inbox you guys can like obviously ask me questions anonymously and on there a lot I do get you guys you know picking up on things like you don't see yourself and blah 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 and you know I, I know that you guys are just like worried about me but like I knew it just like I didn't want to talk about it but now I'm in a place where I'm just like do just do it so something else that I have had people pick up on a little bit is like gaining weight and stuff and I totally have um, that's that's a fact and it's majorly because I have been in a slump with like gym and exercising and stuff um, this week I'm currently on like a ban from the gym kind of because I can't do 90% of the things I do 
do in the gym which is like including weights but I've been going for walks every day and I've been into my spin classes and I'm really trying my hardest to get back into them because I was my absolute best self when I was like on a spin class grind so I'm really trying to get back into that but anyway that's not exactly on topic you guys know like particular medications can make you gain weight and you know that's really unfortunate and that sucks but sometimes you know you just have to be on medications or on particular supplements or whatever um, because your body needs it and sometimes it's hard to deal with I think also just being in a slump obviously you're not exercising as best as you could um, and I've probably been eating the exact same and if you're not training as hard I think you probably don't need as much food like when I'm at uni and I'm going to the gym and I'm working I eat so much food because my brain's going all the time I'm really expending a lot of my energy um, whereas when I'm on holidays I don't really need that much energy if you guys get me yeah it's been really hard I didn't want to talk about it like I don't want this to be like a big thing but having people like mention it and like be really interested in stuff which is totally fine I understand like you guys do see a lot of my life online and you you know you're watching my videos all the time so you do just get curious but I think for me it was just a bit of a hard thing to be like oh you know it is really noticeable like other people are picking up on it and what am I doing wrong and all of that sort of stuff that sort of facilitated my declining mental state um i haven't been bad i just haven't been great so that is what this vlog is all about it's about turning that around i'm going to show you guys what i eat today because i have a full day at home i'm not working or anything so i thought today was the perfect day to start um, i went for a walk this morning i am making myself some coffee then i'm going to make myself breakfast i'll show you guys my meals today because i feel like that's a big part of getting back on track i'm gonna really nourish my body um, from the inside and then it'll take care of me on the outside I'm going to step up my skincare as well so that my skin is feeling all funky and fresh and I'm gonna do a few little things to sort my mental state out one of those being getting organized and like planning stuff so I'm gonna plan my week next week and then also doing some little bits and pieces like listening to motivational speeches reading self-help books all of that sort of thing so that's what today is gonna to be about that is my little ramble for you guys I actually got out my ebook this morning and started reading that um, which I think has really ignited my spark and passion for everything again if I'm honest I wrote this ebook because I was helping myself and so I was writing about it like as I was doing it like getting back on track and getting back to my best self and now I feel like I'm using my own advice again to help me get back on track it's it's very interesting but I'm so glad that I have this um, if you guys do want to get back on track or you need a little bit of help or inspiration, um, I'll pop my ebook. It's called Love Always G. Um, you guys can still get it. It's $10. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check it out. You absolutely don't have to, but it's there if you guys want it. It's got recipes, workouts, self-love, motivation, inspiration, things I've learned. There's so many different components of this um, and it really inspired me. So that's where all of this energy is stemming from today. But I'm going to finish drinking my coffee and I'm also going to drink a litre of water because coffee does dehydrate you. So I'm going to have a litre of water and I have to have that all done before I can have breakfast. But I will show you guys my breakfast this morning. That is all. That's my ramble. The rest of the vlog won't be so chatty. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. So I am about to have my first meal of the day. Basically when I haven't been feeling great or I'm trying to get my stomach back again or just getting or getting myself back on track, I, my first meal of the day, I try to make it as easy to digest as possible. Um, and like I said before, we're going back to basics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a protein smoothie um, and I'll show you guys what I put in it and talk about why I'm putting it in there. But first of all, I'm going to just fill up one of the Nutribullet cups with ice 
and some water. Okay, so I have my cup now, and so it's got ice, water, and a banana in there. And there's only two more ingredients that I'm going to add. The first one being coconut yogurt. Coconut yogurt is a healthy fat, which I like to add into every meal. It says on the package, live cultured with probiotics. So I'm gonna put like a tablespoon into the cup. And then I have my protein and I use Botanica Blends plant protein. I am using the raspberry and coconut flavor. I've got also the chalk hazelnut, which is really good. And then the chai latte one. Those are the only ones I've tried so far. It just depends what like flavor I'm going for, but I'm feeling fruity today. So we're going to pop two tablespoons of this in. So as I said, I'm just going to add in two tablespoons of that. So you're gonna pop it in a glass. This one's really watery, so it's going to be really easy to digest. Then I'm also going to take my vitamins. I have like this fancy little contraption which has all my vitamins in it for each day. But I take a probiotic for my gut, an immune tablet, iron, B12, biotin and magnesium so now it is time for me to sort my mind out and get back on track in that respect so i'm here in my office and i'm going to get some work done i've created my office in an environment um so that when i'm in here i know it's time to work it's time to you know do stuff basically so that's what i'm going to do now I thought I would quickly mention these. I put them in vlogs, but seeming as though we're talking about like getting back on track, I think it's really important to have daily objectives, which is what I use this whiteboard for. So three things that you have to get done by the end of the day. And I actually haven't set mine up for today. So I'm going to do that with you guys. This is really good when you're at uni too or school or whatever. You can pop like three parts of a task that you want to get done by the end of the day. So you feel like you're making progress. Okay, so this is mine for today now. So the first one is organized back to uni stuff. I want to make sure that I'm all ready to go back to uni next week. Um... And that like all of my things are sorted. Number two is to upload a YouTube video. I've already edited the video. I just want to upload it and get the thumbnail and stuff all done and like schedule all of my videos. And then number three is do an RPM class, which I'm going to do tonight. So that's that. Now I am going to upload a YouTube video and plan it and plan out my YouTube videos and then just start getting myself organized for the next couple of days. And that way I will feel like I have the reins on everything and that's what I want. <laughs> Okay, so it's now 1 p.m. and I'm going to make myself some lunch because I'm getting quite hungry. But basically, I'm going to just make myself two like veggie wraps and I'm going to show you guys what I put on it. So I just grated some carrot. These are the wraps I'm going to be using. They're from Aldi and they're just like sourdough wraps. I've got some hummus. I have some spinach and then I've got avocado. I also have some chickpeas, which I'm going to pop in here with with some seasoning and mash them up. So I'm gonna make like chickpea scramble. And I'm just gonna chuck that all on a wrap together with maybe like some sweet chili sauce or something like that. Something really, really simple. And then after that, I'm going to make either an immunity shot, like a health shot, or like a clean green juice. So these are the wraps. That's like a comparison to my hand, if you guys were interested. They're really small and I didn't realize how small the wraps actually are but I'm going to cut one open and show you what it looks like also I forgot to put sauce on it so I'm just gonna weirdly dribble that on the top and that is what the inside looks like when you've cut it open so yum because it's just like a veggie wrap um a lot of the flavor comes from the chickpeas and like what you season it with so you can use like garlic powder onion powder I used Italian herbs salt pepper and coconut aminos okay so i decided i'm gonna make both juices the first one i'm gonna do is the green juice and this is what it looks like here 
all it is is one green apple I've got one and a half sticks of celery and then like a handful of mint leaves and I'm gonna probably have half of this um, with like some ice cubes or something just because I wanted some extra so I don't have to make it tomorrow but then I'm gonna make like a big vitamin health shot whatever you want to call it and I'm gonna pop them in the fridge so I can have a health shot a day <sighs> okay let's blend this bad boy up okay I realized I forgot to add in frozen pineapple so I'm gonna do that and I'll add in some more coconut water and blend that up again okay so this is what it looks like and I've just got like a couple of ice cubes in here mmm delicious yum okay so I'm going to drink this could use some ice cubes if you wanted it like a little bit more icy but yeah I try to make like a big batch of this and leave it in the fridge and have like a glass like this every day so that's what I'm gonna do until this is empty and I'll probably just keep making them so that I can have one a day okay so for our health shot I'm gonna put in two oranges Then I'm going to grab two lemons because they are quite small. Then I'm going to add in some apple cider vinegar. You already know this isn't for taste, it's benefiting your body. So I'm going to put in two tablespoons for now. Then I'm going to put in some turmeric powder. I'm going to put in one and a half teaspoons and so the turmeric can be absorbed properly to the body um, I'm going to add in some pepper as well I've only got a little bit of ginger left so I'm going to put in the rest lastly we're gonna pop in some camu powder this is really good for vitamins so I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of that I'm gonna add in a bit of water as well just to make it a bit watery look how gross that is and there's your health shot. Hello guys, so it is now almost five o'clock and I am heading off to the gym because I am doing a spin class. I love doing my spin classes and I'm so happy I'm getting back into them. I did um, the express class last night and so today I'm just doing like the normal 45 minute spin class and I'm very excited about it. Elle is doing it with me as well tonight so that should be good but I'm running a little bit late so I'm going to go and drive there now and I will talk to you guys once I'm done and probably looking like a tomato but I've had a really good afternoon haven't eaten anything else because lunch kind of filled me up really well so that was nice um, and I've had like two and a half liters of water today so that's been really good because I haven't been drinking much water recently anyway let's drive to the gym and let's sweat okay so I just got to the gym and I wanted to let you guys know I would love to film one of my spin classes one day but the if you've been to a spin class you would know everyone's just like piled on top of each other and there is no way to film it where like people aren't in it because I don't want to put other people on the internet that don't want to be like in a gym class it's just sort of like people shouldn't have to worry about you know people um having pictures with them in the background and stuff like that so yeah it's a little bit hard to film a spin class but who knows maybe one day i'll figure it out but basically it's just like interval training um and endurance training on a bike if you don't know i think most people know what a spin class is i'm sure anyway i'm gonna go in now and i will see you guys all on the other side i just finished my spin class and boy i look good i look like a bald guy that drinks coca-cola i don't know where that came from but i'm done i feel good now i'm pooped but that's good my instructor actually like sat in front of the whole class like pointed me out and like acknowledged my effort tonight which was really nice so yeah i'm gonna go home and refuel and i'll show you guys what i make for dinner okay so for dinner tonight i'm going to make myself a pizza whoa why are i focused there we go i look so bald so i'm gonna stop filming this it looks like i got hair gel in i'm gonna make a cauliflower pizza with all just veggies on it really i'll show you guys what it looks like so i'm now all ready for bed i'm so tired my body is like dead but it feels so good to just have a full day of like being back on a good 
grind. Good food, set myself up for the next few days. I've got stuff sorted with like the juices and the health shot. As you guys just saw, I also made myself some chia pudding, which will like soak overnight and it'll be ready for tomorrow. I just feel good. So I hope this video inspired you guys, gave you some recipe ideas or just some ideas on how you can prepare yourself for success and get yourself back on track. I am going to go to bed now and I will talk to you guys all in my next video very, very soon. Have a good couple of days until I see you next. Stay safe and I'll see you all then. Bye guys.